Hey everybody, Tracking Pat here and I have a short video just to show you one of the features we have that most people don't understand or don't know how to use and it's called Search Edit. Where I am right now is I'm in a program and if I go to the beginning of the program here, I'm just going to swipe backwards the old fashioned way. I basically have a turning event followed by a position event and then another one and another one and all the way through I have three sets. And usually when people get this done and then they realize they got to start changing things like the length of the line or the feed rate or the RPM or something like that, they swipe page by page and they change each individual one. But there's a much easier way to do that and it's something in the edit mode that's called search edit. Okay, so if I was in the edit mode at the home screen like I am right now, I would search here right between delete events and erase is where it says search edit. Search edit. And what search edit is is a spreadsheet editor. And so as you can see the way my program was written, I have each turn followed by a position in here. But let's say I needed to change all the turning events. Then I could just select the type and now all the positions are all together and all the turning events are all together. Right? So if I wanted to change the tool number for the positions, I could simply come into here and highlight that, say change all, and say I want to use tool number three. Okay? Or if I wanted to change the RPMs of everything, I could come in here, say change all, and change it to 400. Or if I wanted to change the feed rates, I could stack them all together like that and say hey, I want to change all of these to 12. So as you can see, the search editor is much faster, and by using the different sorting abilities at the top, I can change all of my events in a matter of pushing two or three buttons, as opposed to having to go page by page and question by question. Better yet, if I open the options page, you'll see that there's multiple things that I can change in my spreadsheet, and the ones that have the green buttons lit are the ones you're looking at right now. So if I was doing something like drilling, then I might want to be able to control something like how many pecs I have or something like that. All I would have to do is shut off one of the buttons I'm not using, turn on a button I am using, and when I close that you'll see now I have a column for pecs. So if I had five pecs in every drilling event and I needed six, I would touch the first one, change all, change it to six, and all six events are changed. So this is a very short and sweet video, but it's something super useful that most people forget is there. So now after seeing this, hopefully you'll see that you'll be much more efficient by using the search editor. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. As always, keep on tracking. Boom. That's how it's done.